Japanese mythology is a rich and fascinating world filled with supernatural creatures and monsters, each with its own unique characteristics and origins. From the celestial beings to demons, the folklore of Japan is teeming with a diverse range of mythical creatures. Japanese mythology boasts a rich tradition of mythical beings that has had the people talking for centuries. Rooted in ancient folklore, these creatures are often a blend of ancient beliefs, religious symbolism and cultural influences. The vivid depictions of these monsters have been passed down through generations, becoming an integral part of Japanese art, literature and popular culture. Here, we shall explore some of the most prominent monsters of Japanese mythology, each with its own compelling tale and significance. Let us begin with the first one. Kitsune among the most famous and beloved creatures in Japanese folklore is the Kitsune, a fox spirit possessing wisdom, shape-shifting abilities, and magical prowess. Kitsune can take on various forms, with the most powerful reaching up to nine tails. They are a type of yokai, a class of supernatural creatures with godlike powers, often equated to the English ghoul or demon. Kitsune are noted for their paranormal abilities, particularly metamorphosis. Often seen as beautiful women, Kitsune can be benevolent guardians or mischievous tricksters. Their motives range from protecting the innocent to leading mortals astray. These beings are deeply ingrained in Japanese culture and are celebrated in various festivals and traditional ceremonies. Next we have the Tengu. The Tengu is another iconic creature in Japanese mythology, often represented as half-human and half-bird. They are associated with mountains and forests and are believed to be supernatural protectors of these natural areas. A type of mischievous supernatural being, sometimes considered the reincarnated spirit of one who was proud and arrogant in life. Tengu are renowned swordsmen and are said to have taught the military arts to the Minamoto hero Yoshitsune. They possess incredible martial arts skills and have been both revered as deities of war and feared as malevolent spirits. Their long-nosed masks and iconic fans symbolize their mythical presence and cultural significance. Now we have the Kappa. In Japanese folklore, Rivers and lakes are guarded by the kappa, a water-dwelling creature resembling a cross between a human and a turtle. Despite their seemingly adorable appearance, kappas are infamous for their mischief and cunning. They are notorious for drowning unwary travellers and for their obsession with cucumbers. They are also identified as a frightening water creature known for pulling children underwater and drowning them. Tales of this small but mighty creature were often used to teach Japanese children to be careful when swimming in rivers and ponds. However, they can also be swayed by gifts of cucumber or their politeness, leading to their reluctant assistance or friendship. The Oni Oni are malevolent demons, often illustrated with fierce horns, sharp teeth and vibrant colours. They are the embodiment of evil and are believed to bring calamities and disasters. In Japanese folklore, they are considered the antagonists who challenge the virtuous and the brave. While they instill fear, they also serve as symbols of resilience and determination as warriors and heroes frequently confront and defeat them in tales of bravery. They are generally considered to be foreign in origin, perhaps introduced into Japan from China along with Buddhism. The Oni have been represented in various ways in Japanese legend and art, sometimes also as women. They are characteristically thought of as pink, red or blue-gray in color, with horns, three toes, three fingers and on occasion with three eyes. Yuki Ona Yuki Ona, or Snow Woman, is a hauntingly beautiful ice spirit who appears during snowy nights. 
She is often described as having icy blue skin and a mesmerizing presence. Yuki Ona is not inherently evil but can be unpredictable and fatal to those who cross her path. Legends of Yuki Ona typically involve encounters with humans sometimes leading to their salvation or untimely demise. Yuki Ona prey on travelers lost in the heavy snowstorms that blanket the Japanese Alps in winter. They have an otherworldly beauty with long black hair and dark piercing eyes. Their skin is ageless and as white as snow, but their bodies are as cold as ice. A mere touch is enough to give a human a deep, unshakable chill. They feed on life force, sucking it from humans' mouths with an icy breath that freezes their victims solid. Satori Satori is a mythical creature often mentioned in Japanese Buddhism and folklore. It is described as a wise and sentient monkey or ape with the ability to read people's minds, thoughts and intentions. The name Satori comes from the Japanese verb Satoru which means to understand or to perceive. One of the distinctive characteristics of Satori is its profound insight into the human mind. It is said to possess the power to discern the true nature of an individual seeking through their emotions, desires and innermost thoughts. Satori's all-knowing gaze is believed to be capable of piercing through the veils of deception and revealing the genuine intentions of a person. Kasa Obaki Kasa Obaki, also known as the Umbrella Ghost, is a playful and mischievous yokai that comes to life from old discarded umbrellas. This one-eyed, one-legged creature hops around using the umbrella as both its body and legs. Kasa Obaki is more comical than threatening and is often portrayed with a long, pointed tongue and a white, mischievous grin. Though there may be some who truly believe in this animated umbrella, it's mostly thought of as a metaphor used to explain how objects gain character and personality as they age, often meant to discourage thoughtless disposal of objects that have a long history and still have use within them. Nura Rihyon Nura Rihyon is a shape-shifting yokai that takes the form of an old man with a god-like head. This supernatural being is known for seeking into people's homes at night while they sleep. While not malicious, Nurarihyon will help himself to food and drink, leaving the house in disarray by morning. Despite his nocturnal habits, he is said to be a yokai of good fortune. This short, comical, elderly Nurarihyon is actually the most powerful and elite of all the yokai. He travels in an ornate palanquin carried by human or yokai servants, often visiting red-light districts but occasionally stopping velas as well. Every yokai listens to his words and pays him respect, treating him as the elder and leader in all yokai meetings. Nekomata Nekomata is a mythical creature resembling a domestic cat but with a long forked tail. These creatures are said to gain supernatural powers after living for an extended period. They are known to have control over the dead and in some legends they can even reanimate the deceased as their undead minions. Nekomata summon fireballs and start great conflagrations, killing many people. The most dangerous and powerful Nekomata live deep in the mountains where they prowl in the shape of wildcats like leopards and lions. They grow to incredible sizes, many meters long, and prey on other large animals such as wild boars, dogs, bears, and of course humans. Roku Rokubi The Roku Rokubi are female yokai with the ability to stretch their necks to extraordinary lengths, allowing their heads to roam freely while their bodies remain still. By day, they appear as ordinary women, concealing their supernatural nature. At night, however, their true form emerges as they become terrifying, ghostly beings. 
Sometimes their heads attack small animals. Sometimes they lick up lamp oil with their long tongues, and sometimes they just cause mischief by scaring nearby people. Unlike most yokai, which are born as monsters, Roku Rokubi are former humans transformed by a curse resulting from some evil or misdeed. Perhaps they sinned against the gods of nature or nature itself. Or perhaps they were unfaithful to their husbands. Bake Kujira, Bake Kujira, also known as ghost whales, are spectres of whales that have passed away at sea. These haunting creatures are often cited as enormous, glowing skeletal whales floating through the night sky. Bake Kujira are believed to bring misfortune and disaster to those who witness them, serving as ominous omens. While some believe them to just be animated whale skeletons which sail near the surface of the sea, rising as they did in life when they needed air to breathe, they are followed by a host of eerie birds and strange fish, and appear on rainy nights near coastal whaling villages. Next up, we have the Ryu. In Japanese mythology, Ryu, known as Tatsu, are legendary dragon spirits that are revered for their awe-inspiring power and wisdom. These serpentine creatures are often depicted as benevolent beings associated with the natural elements such as water, rain, and the sea. Ryu are believed to possess the ability to control weather phenomena. And their presence is often considered a sign of prosperity and good fortune. They are highly symbolic and are respected as divine protectors of the land and the people. They are also associated with the emperor, and is believed that the Japanese imperial family has ancestral ties to these mythical creatures. Ryu appear in various forms of art, culture. And cultural celebrations, symbolizing their deep-rooted influence on Japanese heritage. So, friends, that ends our list. The world of Japanese mythology is a realm filled with a diverse array of mystical creatures and yokai. Each of these beings embodies unique qualities, reflecting the complex cultural and spiritual beliefs of ancient Japan. The legacy of Japanese mythology and the yokai live on, enchanting future generations and continuing to play an essential role in storytelling, art, and the celebration of Japan's rich heritage. So, as we celebrate and share these mythical beings, we honor the profound connection between humanity and the supernatural, bridging the gap between the past and the present in the timeless realm of Japanese folklore. Thanks for staying with us till the end, guys. Before you go, please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon.